Hi guys, welcome to my channel Fusion Inspired. Um, I would firstly, I would like to thank everybody because I have actually hit 100 subscribers today. I've only been doing this for three, four days and you know, I can't thank you guys enough. And second of all is I know a lot of my customers will be watching me today. And I'd like to say hello to all of you and hope you're all keeping well, keeping safe. And um, so today we're gonna make prawn jalfrezi. What much do you want? So here we have spices here. We've got um, cumin powder and coriander powder, turmeric, red chilies, base, I mean red chili powder, um, two green chilies, ghee, which is purified butter, ginger garlic paste, tomatoes, peppers, oil, lime, coriander, garlic, salt, got the onions and here we have the prawns okay guys um, we're going to marinate the prawns first so basically we're going to put probably a quarter spoon of ginger and garlic paste some oil a quarter probably a quarter teaspoon of turmeric a little bit of salt and we're gonna squeeze some lime juice All right, we're gonna quickly give this a little stir you need all those prawns to marinate prawns you, you don't need to really put too much marinade on them because they're you can't put too many strong flavours with prawns. So we'll just do a light marinade with the turmeric and a bit of ginger and garlic paste. Right guys, okay, if you, if you have a look, it's all been marinated now. So now we're gonna put this aside. Um, you can mar probably leave this in the um, fridge for about 20 minutes, half an hour. Uh, it doesn't need a huge amount of time so um, we haven't got that much time so we're basically going to just leave it for about 10 minutes and start cooking right guys um, pan's nice and hot put some ghee in there this is a um, clarified butter you don't need a huge amount like this has a really nice fragrance to it and taste to it. We need to cook these onions a couple of minutes, gonna add some salt. There's about just under one teaspoon of salt in there. Right guys, I need to be cooking for a couple of minutes, two, three minutes. We're going to add the ginger and garlic paste. We're going to add the spices now. Your cumin and your coriander. Give it a stir. I'll list uh, the ingredients, uh, the descriptions, so you guys can see what you need on there. So basically in there I just put in probably a half a teaspoon of cumin, half a teaspoon of turmeric and half a teaspoon of coriander powder. So we're going to let those spices cook. We don't want that raw taste. So we're going to cook that for another couple of minutes. Okay, so it's been cooking for another couple of minutes. I'm going to put some little bit of water in there. It's to stick to the pan. God, you can really smell those spices. We really smell them. Put the heat up a little bit. 
And we're going to add the tomatoes. Put a teaspoon of red chilli powder. As it's a jal frazi, it needs to be spicy. And two green chilies sliced. I know if it was me, I'd put more in there. But I know a lot of my customers like it spicy as well, so you can put a lot more in there. Then you've got the peppers. Just going to let this cook for another minute or so. Okay guys, it's been another minute or so. I mean, I know you guys can't smell it, but let's have a look at that. I mean, that smells amazing. Now what we're going to do, we we'll put the prawns in. I've left the prawns in till late because they don't really need a lot of time to cook. And you don't want to overcook prawns. That's the worst thing you can do. Just whack the heat up a little bit. Just mix all those prawns up. Right, okay, so the prawns are nearly cooked. Nearly, I say. I'm going to put some garlic in. I'm going to put it in late because I really want to taste that garlic. I'm going to put a bit more ghee in there. So it's probably a teaspoon and a half of ghee. That's in there. Coriander. You can never get enough coriander. That's why I never list how much coriander you need because you should put as much as you want. This, um, the jal phrase is not like the restaurant. Obviously the restaurant we put um, dry chili seeds. Uh, we haven't used that in this one. And um, this is how we make it at home. Hey guys. I'm not going to lie to you, this is the third time I've actually forgotten to put the tomato puree in. If you look at my other videos, it could be my fourth time. Um, I'm really sorry, so I'm going to put it back in now. Probably about a teaspoon's worth there. Okay, but now the dish is ready to plate up. Okay guys, gonna plate it up now. Let's look at those prawns. I always like chopping the chilies up. I think you get more flavour. Oh, why don't we just pour it in there? Smells fantastic. Moment of truth now. I'm going to give it a little taste. Right, guys, a bit more coriander, fresh coriander on there. And now we're going to taste it. Mmm. That's really spicy. Sorry, guys. Look. No is really hot not as in spicy hot but temperature hot but it does taste fantastic I'm mean, gonna have a look at all this got your peppers your prawns your coriander your tomato your, your chilies are almost infused into that dish you can't really see them but every bite you're gonna take is, is like is heaven it's absolutely amazing and I can't wait for you guys to try this dish at home. So that's my dish, prawn jam frazi. You need to try this, especially if you like spicy food. It was fantastic, honestly, it tastes amazing. It won't even take you that long to do. I'd like to thank everybody for watching. And um, if there's anything you want me to cook, please comment in the comment section. And please um, subscribe if you haven't. 
hit the bell icon for notifications. Get share with your friends and family, guys. And um, once again, you know, your support, 100 subscribers, fantastic. You know, I can't thank you enough. And um, I look forward to seeing you guys soon. Thank you.